we're back on the road in the Jeep and on our way to Nevada. And we stopped again outside of Alturas at the Forest Service campground where we camped on our way to Oregon last June. Uh, it's a really nice campground. We've got the Jeep set up behind me here, you can see. And this time we got a spot on the creek. You can see Trey's in the hammock over here, <laughs> which is right up on the creek here. And we're traveling with company this time. We've got Trey's mom and dad with us, Leonard and Patty, in their Jeep JL with a trailer. And I'm going to do a little walk around of that. Uh, so look for that video coming up. And you'll see it the rest of our trip. Patty made us a feast here. We got camp packed up and hit the road again. We're on our way to Gerlach, Nevada, and our goal is to do a portion of the Applegate Immigrant Trail. And our first stop is going to be the Friends of Black Rock High Rock. They're a nonprofit organization, I believe nonprofit, and they, along with the Bureau of Land Management, um, oversee and take care of that area, Black Rock and High Rock Canyon area. So that's our goal for today, to get there, check in. Uh, they should have maps available, so we'll get some of those. And that's about it. We're fueling up now. We found fuel outside of Alturas that's about a dollar a gallon cheaper than everywhere else. It's on an Indian reservation. So we're fueling up now, and we'll hit the road, and I'll show you when we get there. yet we found this cute little town Cedarville so we're just kind of exploring around looks like they have a farmers market today too at Friends of Black Rock High Rock. They're closed, but they do have maps. We had a little lunch at Bruno's in Gerlach, um, and it was pretty good. Now we're gonna head off and hit the trail.
way up to this mine and the road's a little two track. It's, it's a little bit rough. We're just stopping because there's a ditch here and we don't know if Leonard's trailer can make it through. So we're gonna stop and check it out. It's actually the rack on the back of the trailer that we're worried about. There's something wrong with the idle on the Jeep that we're going to have to fix. drag just a little bit. This is the idle issue we're having. I'm trying to fix it on the trail real quick. So that's to the mine. The Trey's backing to back down the trail now. We're at the George Lund Petrified Forest. And you can see kind of throughout the fields here there's petrified wood. This piece right here, you can still see some of the fibers of the wood. So they have the biggest specimens of the petrified wood in these cages here in the parking lot. But if you go through the cattle gate, you can go back to this field and there's all kinds. is the little High Rock Hilton behind me here. And then these really cool rock formations all around. Pretty awesome. Got beer and bullets. And in the morning, there's a trailhead right up the road here, so we can go for a little hike in the morning. No, I think this is it. I don't know where we so want to be. Man, how cool is this? Are you excited to stay at the Hilton? I am so excited. <laughs> There's a bunch of food that mice had eaten, so Trey's just cleaning it up. You leaving it better than you found it? <laughs> I hope so. Nice. This 
is what the back of the truck looks like after a dusty trail. Ugh. egg roll in a bowl. One cool thing about this campsite is that there's obsidian, different types of obsidian all over the ground. So you could tell it was an old Native American campsite. Pretty cool. Trey and I are headed out to do the Little High Rock Canyon hike. It starts right here at the camp. It's like a spring here. Really cool cave up there. It's actually, it looked like an arch from a ways back. It's really tricky here because you can't tell what's water and what's grass. <laughs> We've reached as far as we can go. It's really swampy. You can see there's reeds out there, so there's more water. And Trey thought that he saw some petroglyphs on the rocks over there, but we can't get to them. So yesterday the uh, idle air control uh, motor started sticking and we kept getting a high idle. So uh, eventually when it uh, returned to normal, I unplugged it. So we're going to see how it's going to start here this morning cold with the new idle air control motor. Hey. Think we can make that work? Thanks for following along on this first leg of our Northern Nevada adventure. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of this incredible landscape.